Hi, I'm Rosa. Thanks for joining me. This is my channel, Deliciously Said, and I'm going to show you the Tesla wall connector that we just installed at our house for charging my new car, the Tesla Model Y. We ordered the wall connector when we purchased the vehicle or put the order in for the vehicle. And you can see that box on the right that came to us via, um, it was shipped to our home. And then we also picked up the uh, mobile connector and you see that in the box on the left hand side. And that was something we picked up at the service center. This is my Tesla Model Y that I just um, took delivery of this week. And we uh, did not have a way to charge it. We did not have the wall connector installed. My husband and son ran the wire for that and the electrician hooked it up and um, before that I was charging on a um, with the mobile connector connected to um, a location that we hook up our travel trailer so we have a, a travel trailer that we keep on our property and we were able to connect the mobile charger to that. Are you running the wire? Um, 70 feet. 70 feet. And Ethan's pulling on the other side? Yes. You want to get a Hold it. Pull. Okay, Paul. What did you put in there? Um, this is a lubricant. For the wires? Yeah, yeah pull side. Are you pulling? Yeah. Okay, you're ready fitting. I'm gonna pull it back. Okay. All right. Pull. Yep. Got it? Yep. Okay, hold a minute. Yeah, you got it. Are you ready? No. Yeah, I think we're in that first 45. Pull it hard. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Got it. There we go. It's passed. Pull it. You pushing? What are you doing, Ethan? Pulling, pulling the wire. Uh, we got another 45. You ready? Push. Pull. No. Nope. Yeah, I'm pulling the pole like a couple inches. Yep. Okay, count it. Holy crap. Are what? you holding it tight? No. Let's get the screw. Make sure it actually catches. I don't know. I can't tell. No, not catching anything. Yeah, I know. That's the problem I had up there, and that's why I dropped the piece. So those aren't started? No, no, no more. It's pretty nice. It's beautiful. Make sure it's powered up. Whoa. Yep, that's, a, that's been a problem. <laughs> God bless the Lord you. bless your soul. We gotta go to Home Depot and get a wire nut. We don't need it right now, but. The electrician has come and gone and has hooked up the wiring and I'm actually going to turn the camera around and talk to Carl so he can give you specs on the wiring because I don't know anything about that. So um, so Ethan and I, our, 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 our son, we installed the, um, the Tesla wall mount um, power supply. It was actually basically it was pretty easy. We ran one inch conduit um, from the pole barn to the house. And then we ran uh, number six uh, wire um, from the breaker panel to the uh, to the uh, Tesla wall mount, and then we had our electrician um, wire that wire the uh, breaker panel wire up to the breaker panel, and so um, yeah. And then Ethan um, connected it to the Wi-Fi, and 
Yeah, it's basically pretty simple. So uh, I know Rosa mentioned that um, we took delivery of the car a couple of days ago. And so we have a um, RV um, outlet. And so we've been charging the uh, Tesla from the RV outlet for the last few days. And uh, so now we got our permanent charging station. And how'd you do that? What, what was that? Um, you had like a 50 amp outlet or what is it? Yeah, we had a, it's a 50 amp um, uh, RV outlet and uh, we used the- um, The mobile the connector? Yeah, the Tesla mobile connector. And, uh, and that might be, not be the exact wording for it, but it's the mobile cord that comes, um, the one that I mentioned that I picked up at the dealership. Right. Or the service center. Right, and it worked good, um, but it's better here now. The car's undercover and uh, out of the weather. So yeah, looking forward to uh, many years of charging. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to not having to stop at a gas station and pay for gasoline. That's one of the great benefits. We didn't necessarily have to install this. We could have done it with the mobile connector, um, but since it's out here on a pole barn, this made better sense for us. A lot of people in their garage just use the mobile connector. It still has the plastic on it. This is how you connect the Tesla wall connector to the port. So you open it and connect it, push the button on top, and it is charging. And I'm going to show you in the car what the panel looks like when it's charging. And that's it right there. It's at 90% right now. That's what the screen looks like. And it's a really simple process. Carl's back there, just hanging it back up. And that's the charging system. I appreciate you watching and liking my video and also subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.